So I want to take what we learned in episode 18 in terms of WebSockets and specifically Socket.io and apply it to Activity Overlord. So first, I want to set up the idea of login and logout and how we're going to track that. So now when we go to the user administration page, we have this visual representation of whether the user is logged in or logged out. Okay, let's see how to set that up. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new attribute called online. And it's going to be of type Boolean. It's going to default to false. And this is where we're going to add persistence to whether the person is logged in or not. So next we're going to look at the user controller. And what we want to do here is when the user is created during this create action or towards the end of it, we want to change the online attribute to true. So let me show you how we do that. So first, we set the online attribute of the user instance to true, and then we save that user instance. Now, you might be wondering, why didn't I use the update method? And I could have, but the update method, you know, it provides for criteria, it lets you save multiple instances, and in this case, since I only had one instance of the user that I needed to save, I decided to use the save method. Very similar to the create action of the user controller is the create action of the session controller. And so we're setting the online attribute of the user to true and then calling the same save method before we redirect either to the index page if the user has the admin attribute to true or to their profile page, which is the show view. Now we need to do the same thing with the destroy action. So when the user logs out, their online status is changed. And just for variety here, I went ahead and used the update method using a criteria, in this case, the user ID and the attribute we want to change. Okay, finally, let's look at the index view. So here's what it looks like before, and here's some added EJS. So what I've done here is added a column to our table. If the user's online, display the online PNG, else display the offline PNG. So there's two new images in our images folder. And then I rearrange the headers to have everything line up. Okay, let's see what that looks like. So now the login status is displayed with whether the user is online or not. Now, I'm in incognito mode in Chrome, so I'm going to go to a different instance of Chrome, and we're going to create a new user. And now if we go back to the administration page and refresh, our tester user appears and the proper online status. Let's go back to it, sign out, refresh the browser, and they're logged out. Okay, that's great and all, but what we really want to be able to do is track that login and log out in real time and have the server let us know when the event happens so we can update the page. And that's where we're going to use sockets in the next screencast. Thanks for watching.